I'm serious. I've had a really bad day. I'm talking work. I am still reeling from that news about Richard. I am worried sick about Cassie. Well, there's nothing okay? we can do about them right now, but we can make some choices about our son. But we're running out of time, Harley. And you need to make those choices tonight. Reva. Hey. Hi. Hi. Olivia's here with me. Uh, we ran into Shane. He was on his way out. He let us in. Well, you know, I was just looking for an excuse to stop. By the time I learn to read this Braille, my fingers are going to have calluses on them an inch thick. You haven't been listening to the news, have you? What happened? Cassie? No, not Cassie. Richard. Just say it. He's dead. Cassie. Something went wrong. Help me. What are you doing? I, I can't Cassie. explain now. Just, just come She's with me. Breathing. I know that! I don't know that! Good God, what happened? I don't know. We have to go. Go! Go! Where? Where? Beth, there's no time to explain. Just tell me, me that this was an accident. Please tell me that you had nothing to do with it. Beth, please! Tell me I, the truth! I will, just not now! You did this to Oh, for the love of God, just come! You told me you didn't know where she was. You told me that she was here all along. Oh, God, you killed her! Oh, God! But I can't explain it now. I'd have to go. I'll be back. I'll be back. No, just, no, no, no. No, Beth. You can't. You can't go. No. You can't. Just stay, stay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just stay here. I'll come back and I'll explain everything. No. You'll understand, no. Beth. You will. You'll understand. I'll just I'll be back. No. <laughs> Richard had a knife. Evidently, yes. Apparently, uh, Dax just acted instinctively to protect the prince. Richard was like a son to Dax. Mm. And I understand that Edmund is devastated. Uh-huh. Well, as hard as it is to believe, you know, it seems like he's, he's not the instigator this time. Really? I understand uh, there's going to be a state funeral if you'd like to go. Of course I want to go. I don't know what the political scene is like down there right now. You said Noah's out of town? Mm. On business. Well, if you would like to go down with us, uh, maybe he can meet you there. Cassie. As far as we know, no one's heard from her. Well, of course not, because Edmund's keeping her prisoner. I wonder if he's even told her yet. And who's going to tell Tammy and RJ? Richard went down there to rescue his wife and to bring her home. And she didn't need rescuing, Reva. 
I just, I just want her to know that Cassie's all right. She's all right. What do you, what do you mean? How do you know that? Beth. Beth? Edmund's military intelligence interrogated one of Richard's supporters who admitted that Cassie was somewhere on the island hiding and that they were working to get backing to bring Edmund down. And, and Richard knew all about it. That is a lie. would never lie about Cassie. He wouldn't put any of us through that kind of hell. Not me, not Cassie's children. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't, Reva, not the Richard that we knew, but that Richard, that man would never have, have taken a knife and tried to kill his own brother. Edmund drove him to it. Maybe, maybe losing the throne, his baby, everything. Maybe he just snapped. Richard was as sane as I am. And you can't drag him through the mud now that he's dead. Olivia was just trying to reassure you about Cassie. Maybe she'll come forward now. Not if Edmund's holding her as hostage, using her as bait. Well, he doesn't need her as bait anymore, does he, Reva? Because Richard's okay. dead. Get okay. her okay. out of okay. here. We, we will go. Are you sure you'll be okay? Yes. Can you get in touch with Noah? I... D yes. Just go. If, if we hear anything... I'll let you know. Okay. No, look. No. I'm sorry. I'll bet. <sighs> okay, look. Um, I know you don't trust me because I'm doing business with Edmund and because I feel sorry for Beth. But uh, I've actually reestablished my contacts in San Cristobal. And if there is any truth to the rumor that she's down there alone, I could make some calls. Olivia. I could find out something. Let's, let's go. Come on. Olivia. Make the calls, please. Dead. I didn't give you nothing. Drug me dead. All right. All right. Now, come on. Come on. Don't quit breathing now, Cassie. Don't. Come on. Wake up. Just open your eyes, Cassie. Come on. Come on. Open your eyes. Damn it. What do I think? See? Get a little ammonia works. Yes. Cassie? No! Don't die on me, Cassie! Come on! Damn it! Oh, you don't know yet. 
What happened? Yeah, what? Mm. Mark, Richard was killed. He tried to attack Edmund and Colonel Dax had to interfere. There was no choice. Does my mom know? Josh and Liv are on the way over right now. Oh, I gotta get home. I'll take you. Uh, what about my Aunt Cassie? I haven't heard anything yet. Come on. on. No, leave me alone. Not a chance. Come. Walk. Let's go. No. Yes. We're going to take one nice lap around the room. And then we... What, what am I doing here? Richard. Oh, God, Richard. Yes. Yes, Cassie. Richard's dead. Now, come on, let's go. You poisoned me. I didn't poison you, Cassie. I drugged you, and I misjudged the dose. That's all. Now, come on. Walk. Where is he? Where's Richard? I'll tell you when you're awake enough and calm enough. Please walk. Where's Richard? Damn you. You can see him at the funeral. And then you can go to your children, wherever they are, if we come to an understanding. I have more sleeping potion, Cassie. Would you like me to make a fatal error this time? Pretty hard. I'm glad you're here. Go, go see her. I'll check in with you later. Thank you. You know, I want to. I want to go make those calls. My yeah. cell phone's in the car. Do you mind if I snag Josh a sec? No. I'll just be a minute. Listen, I'm glad that you were the one that told Mara about this. Maybe it made it easier for her. She's having a rough time. Yeah, you noticed. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry. Richard loved his country. And he loved Cassie. And he died for both of them. What about Aunt Cassie? I mean... What's happening? Noah is in San Cristobal, and so is Philip Spaulding. And they'll find her. It's just so frustrating having to just stay here and wait when I know that if anyone can beat Edmund Winslow at his own nasty game, it's me. <laughs> that is the last time. You will ever spit in my face again, Cassie. Figuratively or literally. Go to hell. I will. And I'll be sure to say hello to Richard when I'm there. Now listen to me. The game is over, Cassie. Listen to me. I will let you go. You will go to the funeral. The grieving widow. And then you will say your goodbyes to Richard. You will say absolutely nothing to the press. You will tell your family and your friends that you've been incommunicado somewhere on the island and you will tell absolutely no one about your stay in the tower. If you do, I will bring your sanity into question just as I did with Richard. His instability was borne out and yours will be too. So don't try, Cassie. It will be completely pointless. Just go home. Forget about San Cristobal and I'll forget about you. I will never forget about you. And I'll never forgive you. Richard will haunt you. I know he will. Now, do you want to go see him? Yes. Then give me your word. You can't trust me. I don't have to trust you, Cassie! I can go back to that room and remove every trace of you ever being there. So if you go ranting and raving to everyone that I was holding you prisoner there, the entire world will think you're just as deluded as Richard is. Be very afraid of me, Cassie. Very afraid. I'll oh, find how the bloody drug works. Come on. Come on. Put you in bed. And you can sleep it off. We have a very big day tomorrow. What's wrong with Cassie? Okay.
Cassie, Cassie just has a bad case of the flu. That's all right. She, she needs a rest. So, so we don't want anyone to disturb her. All right? Well, where's Mama? Your mother went for a walk, dear. Now, you go back to bed, and I'll go find her, all right? But I had a bad dream. Darling, sometimes everything seems like a bad dream. It'll be all right. I promise you it will. Come on. was on the beach. The night Richard shot me, the night he escaped, he was supposed to come back for her immediately so we could hash everything out and get it over with. But he didn't. I landed in hospital and no one knew she was here except oh, for so me. Oh, so you'd rather have her die than tell me where she was. I never wanted her dead! But she did die! No, she didn't! She's back in our bedroom right now, sleeping off the drug I gave her to calm her down after I told her about Richard. I don't believe you. Beth, Beth Jen, come with me, please. Come with me, I'll show you. Don't, don't, don't! Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Pat. Stay away from me. I'm going back to Springfield. Pat. I'm getting my children. And I am going back to Springfield. I love you. I loved you. I loved you. I supported you. I trusted you with my children. God, did you ever think about Cassie's children? Do you realize that you killed their mother? Why won't you believe me? Because I don't know what to believe. You, you, you swore to me that you didn't know where Cassie was. You swore to me that this was a war room and lies. You said we were equal. You said that we shared everything. God, I gave up everything for you. Beth, this is not what you think. Please. I, I can't do this. I can't do this. I am leaving and I am never coming no! back. No! 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 You won't believe me. No! I will make you understand. Cassie is not dead. What happened to Richard was not my fault. And damn it, I love you! No, no, please, 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 please. Just, I'll be back. I'll explain everything after the funeral. I have to go to the funeral. I'm sorry. Never listen to this, please. Just listen to me. There's food and there's water in it. And I'll be back. Please, I have to make you understand. Please, just... I'll be back. 